Okay, so I have two trips next week. One to Belgium and the other to London. Whoops. Good thing I know exactly what I'ma take. I think. <laughs> Yo, how you guys doing, man? I hope you guys are doing well. Did you guys enjoy that last video where I talked about how I vlog? I gotta ask because people keep asking me, but I could have swore I made a video about this stuff already. But anyway, anyway, I thought that I thought I'd do that one just a little different to actually show you guys how I get certain shots. But yeah, let me know if you liked it or if you thought it was a uh, complete trash. <laughs> No, it's starting to rain. Dang, man. And I didn't, I got the wrong shoes on, <laughs> wrong jacket. I am not prepared. Hopefully it don't rain. It's just sprinkling right now. But hopefully it don't rain too bad because I am, I am not prepared. <laughs> but anyway, today's vlog, we are talking about drip. But this time we're talking about what drip I actually take when it comes to traveling. Because y'all know I got, I got a lot of drip. But look, if I'm keeping it real though, the best drip, may not work when it comes to traveling. I'm just, I'm just being honest. <laughs> because there are just so many factors to include when traveling. For example, like something you need to think about is, is the weight. Like how heavy is the stuff you're gonna be carrying? Also, also things get stolen and lost all the time. So what are you okay with losing? <laughs> are you gonna be traveling with kids? Because that's also a whole nother ball game. Matter of fact, I will just tell you the drip I use right now when I travel with kids. When it comes to traveling with kids, I'm rocking the Pocket 3 and only the Pocket 3. It's extremely light. It fits right in my pocket, especially with the gimbal cover that I showed you in one of my other videos. But yeah, it's light, super easy to take with you. It works indoors and outdoors, which is important because you just don't know sometimes what you're gonna be able to film or do what you need to do or hug the block. So you gotta be ready to shoot indoors, which is something that a lot of the action cameras fell off on every time. No matter what, action cameras fall off if you're trying to shoot indoors. And then lately when I'm with my kids and I'm traveling, I don't really worry too much about the weather because I'm not gonna be out hugging the block when it's raining with my kids. Like, you know what I mean? So yeah, that's another thing. Action camera, I, do, I, I tend to, and this is just recently, I tend to usually leave the action cameras at home unless it is the Action 2. I use, I, the Action 2 has been something that, it's also just easy. Like it's just so easy, it works, it's boss. For the most part, out the door, Pocket 3, sometimes Action 2. Woo hoo that wind is picking up. I think we should head to, uh, we gotta go in and head to work, man. <laughs> Before it starts raining, I could. Okay, hey, now let's talk. Wait, what are y'all doing all the way over there? <laughs> Got our coffee and y'all, and y'all, y'all getting lost in the sauce, man. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But yeah, anyway, since we do have our coffee, I do have to say that if you do want to buy me a coffee because it helps out the channel a lot, the link is down below. Now, but anyway, let's get back into travel drip because again, it is different depending on if I'm traveling alone or traveling with my family. So let's go ahead and start off with the backpack. Because you see, not for nothing, traveling with the right backpack is actually extremely important for me, only because I, I work remote and I'm carrying a camera. And most of the time I'm usually having, I usually have two cameras on me, one in the pocket and well, as well as one in the backpack. With work, I need two laptops because I have my business laptop where I use to edit all my videos and then I actually have my work laptop on me which is a 16 inch MacBook Pro and this thing no joke this thing this thing is heavy if you hear me throw around the word weight a lot when it comes to travel gear and like what I have on me is because of this laptop this laptop is so heavy not for nothing that is something that I really like about this peak design backpack because it can hold both my 16 inch MacBook Pro for work as well as my 14 inch MacBook Pro for business and for I mean mainly editing it's also very well made and also since I live in the Netherlands it had to be waterproof so that's another huge plus for me because we cannot get the drip wet I mean we get it wet but we can't get it soaked and sometimes It'd be bad here. <laughs> and then weather and work aside, it also had to be able to carry my drip. At least one regular camera size, like this Canon R5C or, you know, something smaller like the Sony ZV-1, but I wanted it separate. And that's why I also like the way 
that you can store these things in here because there's different levels in there. You could adjust them however you want. And then if you open it up using the sides, you will also see a couple of pockets, two zip downs at the bottom and then two just kind of magnetic at the top. But yeah, overall, this Peak Design camera backpack is probably the best one I have ever had. I've had maybe six or seven camera bags and not gonna lie, this one has been the best. It is solid, it does everything I need. It's waterproof, weatherproof catches everything and can hold my two laptops hashtag not sponsored nobody ain't paying me nothing i bought this with my own monies but also it's 360 dji peak design hit me up if you want to sponsor me though <laughs> but now with that said i gotta get my booty back to work <laughs> Okay, stepping out for a quick lunch break now. I think we should go ahead and go through the gear because like I said earlier, it is completely different from when traveling by myself than when I'm traveling with my family. <laughs> so let's go through this drill. got our coffee let's talk drip <laughs> okay now first things first big drip and that is the sony zve1 that is really strange talking big drip for the sony zve1 because it is the smallest it, it is so small this is the tiniest full frame camera i think in the world <laughs> it is so good no joke hands down it is boss it's light super like just cr so many crazy functions that you can do with it and i do feel like overall this might be the perfect travel camera besides the pocket three. It kind of depends on the level of creativity. Like if you are just one of those people who just want to grab and go, pocket three is boss. But if you somebody who's a little bit more, you played with cameras for years, you know cameras, you know the kind of look that you want, the Sony ZV-E1 is it. This is that guy. <laughs> and look, I'm not even saying it just because I have it. I'm saying it because I was really against this camera when it first came out because I already had the Sony a7S III. But when I went to the store and I picked it up and I used it, just completely changed. I copped it right away. And I'm gonna be real, the main reason for that is not that it's better than the Sony a7S III. No, it's the weight of the thing. It is so light and then you put on like a light lens like I said in my last video about my camera hacks if you ain't see the video watch the video one of my camera hacks is using APS-C lenses on full frame camera they work extremely well the image quality out of it is solid and boss as well as it is just so light just the lightness of it and the wide and it's a wide lens it's a 10 to 18 mil lens and it is cheap. So this is a solid camera for traveling. And then for audio, I usually use the Sony shotgun mic. It is a wireless, like digital shotgun mic, which I love because I hate wires. <laughs> Look, I'm just keeping it real. I'm just saying what you can't say. I hate wires. But yeah, the whole setup just works and it works extremely well. And it's so light. I cannot, I cannot push that thought enough how light this thing is. Like, I'm not even joking. Now, next thing we have on the list is the Pocket 3. Now, yes, we already talked about this. This is the go-to for like everything. If you, whether I'm traveling with my kids or traveling by myself, always have this on me. Not only because it's amazing for vlogging and for travel videos, but it actually runs my entire travel channel. I've been using these Pocket cameras for so long, the Pocket 1, the Pocket 2, and now the Pocket 3 has replaced those. And when I travel, like, I'm, when, like when I'm going on these two trips that I'm going on to Belgium and London, I'm also gonna be shooting for the travel channel. So yeah, Pocket 3, always on deck. And with that, I also bought another battery. Now, it comes with one if you get the combo pack, but I went ahead and bought another one because of the travel channel. Because like I said, people, Look, y'all be think I'll be, look, 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 come, come here for a second, come, pull, pull up, 
look, y'all be thinking I be lying about the amount of mileage I get on these pocket cameras. I'm telling you, I use them more than any of these turkeys out here. Holla at a player. When I went to Atlanta, I mentioned this in a video. I used this camera for like six hours straight. <laughs> and man, I wish I'm lying, but I'm not. <laughs> because not for nothing, we uh, we running up a bag with this pocket. So yeah, the pocket three is a must because it pays for everything on the table. Also gonna pay for the trip because the travel channel is just, is pumping out the monies, man. And I, and I just mainly use the pocket cameras with it. So, but yeah, that is the pocket three. Next, we got to talk about sound. I already went over the sound for the Sony ZV-E1. Now let's go over sound for Sony ZV-E1 as well as the pocket three, which is the DJI mics because I use these quite a bit when it comes to traveling as well. These are always on me. I usually have it in this pouch. I don't like the case. I like the case, but I don't like to carry the case on me because it's kind of heavy. Again, for me, priority is lightness. Like I need, like the weight matters to your boy Sky Money. All right, so now that is the audio. Next we have this 360 one inch 360 camera. I have been wanting to use this. I use it a lot in Atlanta to get some car shots and they looked amazing. Like, Wow, this thing looks pretty good. I also used it to get some shots when I reviewed the bike and again, not gonna lie, it looks really good. Now, internal audio though, internal audio is kind of a hit and miss. I would say the wind, it's not that great. All right, so we went over the bag, we went over the drip. Oh, there was one more thing I did want to say, and that was, you saw, you didn't see it on the table because I usually bring the Action 2 every time I travel, just because the Action 2 is probably still my favorite action camera to be, I know, I know, I was thinking about it. The Action 2 just kind of kills it for me. Like they, they just kill it for me. They, the Action 2 is so good. Like every time I pick it up and use it, it is good. So good that I, I actually bought three of them. <laughs> And it's not what you think. I bought, I ended up buying another one because it was on sale, but then I lost both of them. I lost both of my 32, 32 gig versions. And then the 128 gig version came in. I took it to Atlanta and I lost it. <laughs> so now, now I don't have, um, I think I may have left it in the car. That's the only thing I could think about. It must be in the car, but I cannot find this action to nowhere. I can't find, the 232 gigs and I can't find the 128 gig that I bought for the Atlanta trip. And yeah, I, yeah, but yeah, just something that's missing from the table, the action too. But yeah, that pretty much, um, that pretty much concludes my, my travel trip. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Oh, I also do bring, no, we went over there. You know what's funny is that this might seem like a lot of stuff to be bringing, but compared to what I see people bring on like these YouTube videos, I'm just like, how are, these, how are these people putting all this stuff in their backpack? <laughs> like, man. Time to head back to work, but dang, where did the sun go? Look at that sun. <laughs> sun is dipped out. <laughs> it is getting dark like crazy. <laughs> All right, but let me get my booty back to work. <laughs> oh man, yeah, look at the clouds right over there. Dang, look at those clouds. concludes my travel drip. Let me know if you guys have any questions down below and let me know what you guys travel with. I, you know what, actually I forgot one thing and that is I do a hair have like some air tags on some stuff just to be, just in case. <laughs> like for real man, you just um, like for real, you just uh, you never know. <laughs> mm. But yeah, let me know what you guys tend to, oh man, is it raining? I think it is raining. Okay, no false alarm. <laughs> so like I was about to say, let me know what you guys rock with when you travel. Again, in my opinion, the Pocket 3, the Pocket 3 can handle pretty much everything. You know, I mean, I'm just, I'm just super saying. <laughs> Man, people always trying to be getting me lost in my sauce. Dang, just trying to, just trying to end the vlog. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you enjoyed it because I enjoyed making it. I will see you in the next one. <laughs>